Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my uh, channel. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Abdul Nasser. Uh, probably it's very hard for you guys to say, but it's uh, in, people here in uh, my American friends call me uh, Nasser. It's uh, N A C E R. So uh, this is me. So today what we're gonna be doing, I figured that there was a lot of uh, requests about uh, making, uh, asking me to make uh, V-Ray materials or uh, about rendering in general. So uh, I decided to make a series uh, all dedicated just about uh, V-Ray materials. So when we're gonna go through with this setup of creating uh, all most of the common materials like uh, a lot used in a uh, daily production uh, uh, environment and uh, the material that I'm going to show you are materials that are uh, have been tried out and they've been uh, proven to work uh, very well. So uh, we're going to start with the uh, automotive uh, uh, shaders. So we're going to make uh, like the car paint changer, we're going to make uh, the tires or the rubber shaders, we're going to make the windshield uh, shaders, we're going to make the headlight shaders. I'm gonna make uh, uh, the back, the red light shaders. I'm gonna make the, the front ones. We're gonna make the rims, the everything. So what we're gonna do? I'm not gonna. We're gonna like put all those materials. After we're gonna make all those materials. After we're gonna put them in one library. And uh, when when you are done with this, whenever you, you have the car uh, that you wanna render, all that you gotta do is just drop the car and just. Uh, I'll put a uh, drag and drop the materials on top of this so you don't have to uh, remake those materials over and over and over. Uh, without uh, further ado, today's uh, first material that we're going to make is going to be the car paint material as you can, guys can see in the screen. This is the material that we're going to be making and this one is a custom uh, material that's not the car paint shader that comes with the V-Ray and uh, the, because of this one is uh, way faster than uh, the car paint changer and I think it's uh, even as better and better look than uh, the one that the car paint is going to give us. I'm using uh, this model that, can, uh, that I downloaded from uh, the V-Ray material the OND. That's uh, where they are. It's uh, the website for the V-Ray materials. So they, they have thousands and thousands of materials. You can just grab any materials from there. So in, uh, in that website they have this file, a scene file that you can uh, download it and try your materials on it. So uh, today we're going to uh, do the car paint and now as you guys can see here this is the final output for this uh, tutorial here. You're going to uh, get uh, this uh, nice uh, soft car paint shader here. So let's uh, go to it guys. Now I'm going to click uh, M. This is shaded, so I'm gonna just uh, delete it and make a new one. Uh, material, V-ray, I'm gonna grab a uh, V-ray material. And basically, what is the car material? The car material basically it's uh, a lot of uh, coatings. You got like uh, uh, two coatings. You get a paint coating, uh, a paint coating where you get uh, the main color and. Uh, uh, more like the kind of the soft glasses, soft reflection on it, and after uh, the second one, you are uh, doing a second coat. You're gonna be get at uh, the coat that has the flakes and uh, uh, like kind of a, uh, the kind of reflection on it are more concentrated, uh, like you know, not like the first coating. So uh, what you're gonna do? You're gonna use uh, two materials. You're gonna blend them together and make our car material. The first. Uh, one we're gonna start, first we're gonna try to make uh, the car paint uh, the first coating which is the car paint so we're gonna get our VRA material here I'm gonna buy diffuse I'm gonna use a fall off map and here you can uh, give it uh, the colors that you want it's so for the front side let's go with the blue or whatever color you want really doesn't matter Actually, let's go for green. Okay, since the way should be the blue, since for green, okay. And for the black, uh, the other color here, 
and then I just pick the same color, but I'm gonna grab a, a darker version of it. Okay. Next. And that's all that you need to do in the follow-up map. I, I think the second this one is too uh, too light and then this light maybe a little bit. Okay. And for the uh, reflection here, I'm gonna go back over here. This I'm gonna copy this one, and I'm gonna paste it on the reflection, and just make it lighter. Okay. I'm gonna open a preview window here. That's what we are getting so far. And uh, th this shader here will have like a soft kind of uh, uh, reflection on it, a soft blurry reflection. And to shift that, you're gonna unlock the highlights. So basically, what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to shift that uh, blurry highlight on it. So you're gonna unlock it. And uh, to shift that, you can see if once you, uh, uh, you go down, you're gonna start blurring that uh, highlight, that point light here. I'm gonna stop at point 63, uh, which yeah, maybe is six point six. And for the reflection, we're gonna give it uh, some uh, reflection luminosity too. Uh, so let's go for point eighty-five. And you see, it's, uh, since we have uh, just a subdivision of eight, it's gonna kind of give you kind of a rough. Uh, surface so to avoid that we're gonna up our subdivision and this one kind of increase your uh, render time so but that's what you need to do uh, I'm gonna increase it to 40 so we're gonna give us uh, this smooth even uh, surface here and that's really all you need to do for the one more thing I'm gonna just change the degrees here to black okay and that's all that you need to do for the uh, first coat in here. Now let's grab uh, the second material, another V-ray material too. And uh, this one gonna be fully 100% reflective. Uh, let's open a preview for it. I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit glossy, I'm gonna and I'm gonna give the subdivision of 8. Uh, I'm gonna like give it some uh, highlight glossiness too, so probably 0.9, and maybe 0.5. So basically, this is not gonna be the concentrated. Uh, uh, reflection when I be across like this one and this one when I one when we layer them up it's gonna give you this one in the middle and that soft highlights around it. Uh, this is it for this one here. For the diffuse I'm gonna change it to black. Uh, what else? You know what I need to do I need to uh, add the bump to the uh, bump map here. And I'm gonna grab the noise and I'm gonna just lower it all the way down one. And that's what I'm getting. And basically this is your flakes. But that's too much flakes. We're gonna lower our uh, bump map all the way down. At one you are barely able to see it. Even one maybe it's a little too much. Twenty point five. Yeah. You barely can see it, but it's still right there. Now what we need to do, we need to grab a material V-ray, grab a V-ray blend material. And I'm gonna use uh, uh, the coating. I'm sure if I 
the bike on that one. This one's going to be the brakes. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook this one to the base. And I'll hook my flakes to the coat. I'm going to open the preview now. And you can see it is a nice car shade on wow. And that's what we are looking for here. So I'm going to call this one car shader. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to apply it to my geometry here. Object selected, there you go. There you go. Assign to selection. And for some reason, my supposed to be clean. Okay. Now I'm going to render it and I'm going to be back when it's done rendering. Okay, guys, uh, so we uh, finished the rendering that material, which is uh, this uh, green one here, and I uh, did uh, more variation of this uh, material. Uh, all what I did here, all what I changed is uh, the full of uh, color maps and uh, the reflection color, and uh, you can get uh, thousands and thousands of uh, different uh, materials. And you guys can see it, uh, our flakes right here in the back corner here. It's very subtle, and uh, if you want them uh, to be stronger, all you gotta do is just uh, increase your bump map or uh, the uh, the blend amount. Make sure that uh, the flakes uh, materials is uh, more uh, bump. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, more uh, uh, out there than the other one. So this is like a short uh, video here about. Uh, in this series but uh, it's going to be I think it's going to be a really very useful series for a lot of people that they have always uh, struggled to come up with the kind of nice looking renders uh, especially in V-Ray so and after when we finish uh, I finish with all the materials that I think that uh, uh, when I think that's enough materials we're going to move on to going to show you more techniques and a lot of uh, uh, about the uh, studio renderings, which there is thousands and thousands of uh, ways to do the studio renderings or uh, photorealistic renderings. So uh, when we are done with the material uh, page, we're going to move on to the photorealistic uh, renders. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial here. And uh, as usual, just comment, subscribe, like. Uh, well, for requests, I've been getting so so much requests that there's no way possible that I could uh, do them all. Also, what I've been doing, I just uh, look up to all the requests and see which one was uh, most requested, and I do those. Uh, I wish I could do all those requests, but it's just not not possible because I have uh, so much to do other than this between the work and the family and some time for yourself really it's very hard so uh, I'm gonna do my best to try to keep up with that and those videos soon as can uh, especially like now I have like a lot big load of work of my head now so I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like I said subscribe and like and share